We're cooking, snacking, eating and laughing. The Southern Snackers. <laughs> That's dumb. Hey y'all, it's the Southern Snackers. I'm Bucky. I'm Brandon, and today we're coming at you with another cooking at home cooking show. video. So get ready, get ready. We're gonna make a day, eat it tomorrow, just like always. So be sure to check back tomorrow to watch us eat what we're gonna make today. And you know what we're not gonna do today? <clears throat> what? We're not gonna talk over each other at all. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That was that's gonna be our challenge. We're also challenging each other. Plus, you know, that's been some of the critiques that we've gotten. You know, not the, you know, they're just like, oh, y'all talk over each other a lot. So we're not going to do that today, y'all, but we are going to cook a delicious dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it. Now this means he's not going to, he's going to stand there. Well, I, it's like, I don't know when you're going to stop. So how am I supposed to start? Usually like when somebody like ends their sentence, you know, and we're going to have a delicious lunch. That's like, you know, that's a period. You know what I mean? You know? Okay. What? Well, never mind. It's fine. Let's just go home. Let's just back. <laughs> so y'all, we are gonna make today what we're gonna call <laughs> our salmon. See? I was kidding, obviously. We're gonna call this our salmon sheet pan experiment. Yes. So we are gonna make what's called a sheet pan dinner. If you're not familiar with that, it's. I was just gonna say which I've never heard of before until you mentioned it today. Period. <laughs> see what I mean? You literally already talked over me. I don't think that that's what they're talking about. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't so know what they're talking about. I don't either. I guess it's, it's like how are we supposed to have a conversation without talking over each other? That's what people do. I guess. Yeah, that's what anyway, I said. Anyways. Whatever. So we're making we a try. salmon sheet, sheet pan dinner. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to throw some stuff on this pan right here, which y'all can't see, I don't think. But we're going to put our salmon with a lot of veggies, y'all. We're going oh, really heavy hardcore. veggie today. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a glaze for our salmon. We're going to cut up some veggies to put them around our salmon. And then we're going to throw that in the oven on one sheet pan and take it out and eat it. And that's like a really easy way. It's a, it's a great, easy dinner for people. Yeah. Um, I've never really done fish with this, so we're going to experiment with the salmon, see what happens. We're not really following a recipe. The only thing is, at the end of this, whatever we put on this pan is going in the oven at 410 degrees for like 20 to 25 minutes. Gotcha. That's basically all that's happening. So, so we just need to season this all good yep. and cut it up, yep. put it on there, and we're good to go, y'all. Yep. So let's get going. I do see that we're missing <clears throat> one ingredient. What are we missing? So we one? are doing like a bourbon, a honey bourbon. <gasps> oh yeah, we're going to, yeah. So we're gonna have to grab some bourbon from our liquor cabinet. Um, Should we do Jack or Jim? We'll I, do Jim? I like both of those we'll guys. Jim. So we're gonna put some of this in our in our glaze. Let's start with getting our veggies going. So what we're gonna do, y'all? We is, have washed everything. We have washed. Our everything. hands are washed. Our veggies are washed. Thanks, like. Everything is washed. So for the first round of veggies, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put broccoli and carrots, which are in here, squash and zucchini, which we're gonna cut up into this bowl then we're going to mix it up with some olive oil and some um and some other great spices and stuff then we've got our peppers and our tomatoes and corn and green beans which are going to be kind of just added in as like garnish and you know for look and for extra taste but all we're going to do put in the olive oil is the squash zucchini the broccoli and carrots which are already in here and we're going to do the squash really thin y'all so we don't want them too thick no that's that's true so while he's doing that y'all i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give the, the the foiled pan here i'm gonna give it a spray with this uh olive oil pan so to go ahead and coat the foil so hopefully stuff don't stick that's the and right here i'll put up some pictures of some of the salmon pans that we've kind of seen so we're hoping ours looks something yeah. like this but better we're hoping ours is cute like that so y'all, just to show you the pan, since you haven't seen it yet, this is our big sheet pan. It's huge. And so I've sprayed it now with the olive oil, so hopefully nothing sticks. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, actually, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut our salmon in half. And then I'm going to place two salmon fillets on the pan. For That's what we're going to like kind of create our pan around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right we now. We can like each have our own side. Yeah, that's the idea. And y'all, we got this called Coho Salmon Fam Family Pack. I don't really know what that means, but it's salmon in a pack. All right, squash is all cut up. All right, now I'm going to start on the zucchini. And like always, y'all, let us know if y'all try these recipes while we're in quarantine. Yeah, we are just trying well. new stuff. It is the perfect time. I know we say that all the time. 
And also, y'all, we went live last night, and I'm going to keep the video up for a little bit longer, but we were just having fun. We were in a singing mood. Um, so if y'all haven't watched us just singing and, like, having fun out on our deck last night, uh, that is on our channel. It's called just karaoke, like, live karaoke, join us. Um, and a lot of people have been wanting us to do that more often, so maybe we will. So make sure that your notifications are on for the Southern Snackers. Because y'all, we just sometimes go live randomly. But that was definitely fun. So thanks to everybody who hung out with us last night on that live. So here's our one salmon. So we're going to build everything around this. Perfect. We're going to put some olive oil. So here, I'll go ahead and put that in there. You can give it a good shape. Yes. I'm going to put some garlic powder as well. Oh, there we go. Okay, wowie. It won't be. <laughs> Y'all, you can be very generous with garlic powder. It's not like garlic salt. And this is like this, doing things like this makes you feel like you're a real chef. All right, here we go. So do this too. Perfect. Okay, now toss that in. We're gonna toss it. I'm going to add y'all some pepper while he's shaking. I know you love some seasoning. Okay. And tiny, tiny, tiny bit of salt. Okay. So we'll mix those up. Yum. It so now what I'm so going to do good. is I'm going to start working on our marinade. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt this stick of butter right here in this, uh, this glass dish in the microwave. And with the peppers, we want, we want color. We want this to be a very colorful dish. And so we want to cut the peppers in long strips. All right, y'all, butter is melted. Oh. Now this is not, I'm just, I'm literally making this up as I go, y'all. That's what we like to do though. We like to experiment. And we do. So I've got my melted butter. Now I'm going to add in some of this. This is Lowry's Honey Bourbon uh, Marinade. So I'm going to mix some of this in here. Good amount. It's going to be extra bourbon. So there's that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour in just like a shot of bourbon. Not a whole lot. Just to give it that extra flavor. Because you don't want that to be like the main, like no. overwhelming like whiskey That's bourbon sure. taste. And then y'all, I've got some spices. So I'm going to put in a little paprika. There we go. And just a dash of dill, because dill, y'all, it goes so good on, um, on see, like on fish. So I'm going to just do a little dash of that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to slice these oranges and put them on top of our fish. Then I'm going to cut the end of this orange off so that I can squirt a little bit of that juice into my glaze. Yeah, Paula Dean has nothing on us today. <laughs> nope. So here goes the orange juice in the glaze. So this is kind of like an orange honey bourbon glaze. That's what we'll go with. Yeah. How's that sound? Sounds perfect. Good. Ooh, it smells really good. And then we've got these here, ears of corn, y'all, which I'm just going to throw on there and pepper. That's going to be It's that. almost like kind of like a seafood these, boil these in a, way, a weird way, except not the boil. But you know what I mean? It's just like a bunch of stuff just all yeah. put together in like one little... One pan. Yeah. Makes it easy for people, you know? Yeah. Especially like families and yeah. stuff. Moms, like if you're so, I'm gonna. I've got these green beans here, y'all. I'm gonna clip the ends off of them. And dad, you don't know who's cooking. Well, yeah, that's true. Even though I do think like 80% of the people that watch us are female, yeah. I think that's what our analytics say. So now everything is cut up. Um, we have our tomatoes. We did have our little tomatoes as well. Really the only thing left is putting it, Put it all. on. Mm -hmm. And we kind of want to make it as pretty as possible, just like those pictures that you saw earlier. Ooh. So what are you thinking about the design? So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna think we're gonna start with the green beans and the corn in the middle of the shrimps. And obviously I mean, the salmon. Yeah, why well, it's not. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. And obviously, you know, this part is be creative. Um, everything is still going to taste the same no matter really how you place it. Um, but this is a cool like way to just kind of be as creative as possible. These are just frozen corn on the cob by the way. Okay? Symmetry y'all. Symmetry yeah, we're is going the key. For, we're going for symmetry because I love symmetry. Alright, now we've got our veggies. Oh my god, I about forgot mm -hmm. about the veggies. So we need to spread the veggies out. 
I love like how colorful all of this is. Yeah. I can like spread it out as you yeah. like throw it down. I mean, my hands are clean. Ooh, this looks so cool. This is looking really Like cool. already this is looking better than what I mean y'all and I know this was like super simple. We are probably like, oh my god, all you did was put everything on a pan. I know. But it's like, oh, all you did was the small things, y'all. The small things. That's probably good for that. Alright, so now, now we're gonna just garnish with our um, tomatoes and our peppers. Just spread out the color. Yep. Quit eating everything. I'm sorry. We can also put some in the middle along the corns and stuff. So now y'all, I've got my marinade ready to put on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some slices of orange. It's gonna go on top of our salmon. Wow, that is so pretty. So we got orange and lime to put across the top of our fish. Try to evenly distribute it over the salmon. Mmm. Oh, it that smells looks so good. good. This is also a fun thing, I feel like, for like parents with kids, like families, to like do something like this. I mean, if your kid, obviously, there's a lot of cutting involved, so if your kids, if you feel confident in your kid with a knife, and y'all know us, we love I'm this I'm just gonna kind of so. squeeze a little bit of this over sure. it too. Okay. Mmm! Wow. Yeah, perfect. Now that looks Should so we do good. some pepper just all over the top? Sure. I mean, I think, yeah, just Oh, season. then I'm gonna do sesame seeds on top of the fish. Yo, we're just putting on things as we go. We're like, this This will look good. Wowie. Wowie. Look at this. Hold this Wowie. Up. This is gonna be heavy. Yeah. <gasps> y'all, that's before. Whoa. So, like we said, y'all, this is a wrap on the cooking video. Very simple. The only thing that was super time simple. consuming was, was cutting. just cutting everything. Cutting everything. But super easy to do, and it looks delicious. So hopefully, I mean, how is it not gonna taste delicious? Oh, some finishing touches. A little orange juice all over everything. Might as well. Oil. Might as well. But yeah, y'all, this was a lot of fun. So y'all, this is gonna go into the oven on 410 degrees for like 20 to 25 minutes. We'll look at it. We'll check on it. We'll keep watch. But yeah, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Yeah. So make sure to tune back in tomorrow for our salmon on a tray mukbang. What are we calling it? Salmon on our a salmon sheet pan. Salmon. Salmon, salmon sheet, sheet pan, pan dinner. dinner. Sam, join us tomorrow for our salmon sheet cake pan. Hang on. Join us tomorrow for our salmon sheet pan mukbang. Woo! That's cheers, fun. cheers. I got it. I got it right. Um, but so y'all, this was so much fun. Also, let us know if you try this recipe. If you do something similar similar to this, send us a picture. Um, you know, see if you can do yours prettier than ours. Yeah. I mean, because I think ours is very gorgeous. Colorful. Um, but yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. We hope you enjoy these cooking videos. Remember to watch tomorrow. And just remember, y'all, when life is tough, just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all. Bye. This looks now, really good. We gotta put it in the oven. Yeah. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yum. 20 minutes and it should be good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go.